Now, when physical or sexual abuse cases involving minors occur, victims and their families often seek help professionals say the first person to go to should be a trusted family member. Then it's up to that person to get the help that child may need. Our Desmond Matthews talks to a professional about some of the signs that people should look out for in children. He joins us in the studio with more on that tonight. Desmond. Andrea Winston, it's unfortunate when instances like these happen, but as a local professional and police chief tell me, there is help out there and they want to let people know where to turn. If and when a child has been abused physically or sexually in our area, one of the first calls is either to the police or to Salicate Winners in West Point. The professionals there encourage families and friends to learn to recognize some of the signs of abuse in a child. So if you observe some sort of drastic change in behavior, that you don't normally see in that child. Um, they become more reserved for younger children. It can be bedwetting. Um, but, you know, children, they, they have to feel safe to talk. Just through these doors, kids come in for forensic interviews where they tell the professionals what has happened to them. Clinical Program Coordinator of the Children's Advocacy Center, Sarah Goldman, says in many cases, kids don't feel comfortable talking. Rather than verbalize their feelings and, and their trauma, um, will have physical symptoms, um, headaches, stomach aches, um, that's just a common occurrence for kids um, who are struggling with something but can't quite say what they're struggling with. In many cases, people don't know about sexual abuse until they take their child to the doctor. Such as a sexual transmitted disease, um, you'd be surprised how many kids may not be able to say that they've been abused but will test positive for um, a sexually transmitted disease that you know they would only get one way or the other. Goldman says everyone should report suspected activity just to be on the safe side. In the Children's Advocacy Center, they have a child first doctrine that allows the kids to come in and feel welcome and safe rather than scared. We are here for the child. It means that the child comes first in anything. It's not it's not so much the investigation or getting the facts or, you know, proving that something did happen or did not happen. It's what the child needs. Goldman encourages anyone that knows of a child sex crime situation to make a hotline report. That number is on your screen.